Happy Sunday everybody. It's been a while since I posted a video and I almost didn't make this video because it is so hot here in beautiful Southern California. But it's got to be done because I need to unbox this and then try it out so I can review it later on. So this will be an unboxing and a initial review first impressions of my new True wireless earbuds. This is the Altec Lansing True Evo wireless earphones. So here's the front of the box. On your right side, you just have a picture of how they look like when worn. Someone like backpacking or something. On the back, you have another picture of another person wearing the uh, earphones, and then you have a picture of the uh, charging case. It says charge batteries up to four times, up to three hours per charge. And then up top here is all your features, so you can pause that and read it for yourself. But the main features is, like I said, Bluetooth, no wires. It's uh, waterproof, not just water resistant, but this thing is waterproof. So on the left side, again, you have all the features of the of these earphones, the wireless buds. On the bottom is your Altec Lansing barcode logo, and over here to the bottom of the box on the left hand side is your package contents so the package contents we'll find out when we open it up but if you want to know beforehand you can pause that and read it for yourself and let's unbox okay we're just going to use this steak knife cut down here on the bottom and get rid of the plastic Alright, so you have an. What's this? It opens up like this, like a book. And when you open it up, it'll, it has right here S, M, and L. That's probably for small, medium, and large free bit ergonomic ear tips. Turn for a perfect fit. Or tuned for a perfect fit, I don't know. And what is that? And so I guess right here are your welcome, thank you for purchasing Altic Lansing earphones. Uh, you have your manual right here, quick start guide. They also have instructional videos on YouTube, so you can just watch those. And I that's what I did. I. I watched a lot of videos on all types of different earbuds, wireless earphones, uh, wireless earbuds, and I was going to get either the Bose, the Sony's uh, Extra Bass SP, WSP 700N, something like that, and then the Altic Lansing. I went with the Altic Lansing because number one, it had the best price to performance ratio this. Is a Best Buy exclusive, and right now at the time of purchase, I just got it today. It was on sale for some reason. They had a whole bunch of uh, sales at Best Buy on headphones. So this was $20 off. Its normal price is $99 or $99.99. And I got it for, I think, $79.99 with a $20, $20 um two-year warranty extra warranty it cost me as much as it would have cost without the sale but I got the warranty just in case this has very good reviews for sound quality I mean for if you're a bass head this is going to be your headphone based off of reviews and also um, based off of the reviews they say it rivals the bows or on some it even out does the most when it comes to bass and also loudness and it has better isolation because of the foam tips or ear trips it's got like the 
memory foam ear tips that come in here and um, some of the negative rev reviews though say that is mostly concerning the battery life and the con some and some of them are on connection now when they go with the battery life and connection I think those two go hand in hand if you keep losing connection your battery will probably drain faster and if your volumes if you listen like to listen at higher volumes your battery is going to drain faster so I wish on some of these reviews on Best Buy they would have put down like how loud they were listening to the earbuds and also what kind of phone for them to be losing connection I have a Note 8 and a Note 8 has Bluetooth 5.0 and I think these earbuds are either 4.0 or better so I shouldn't have any issues I mean some of these reviews they could have been they, you know pairing it up with an older phone that only had like Bluetooth 3.0 or something and so that's why they were losing connection and therefore that's probably why their battery was running out a lot faster so hopefully I won't have any problems but if I do like I said I got the two year extended warranty for twenty dollars which basically made the price the same as it would have been without this twenty dollar off sale okay so enough rambling let's uh, open these up so here's the charging case and it's uh... Yeah, it feels like this feels like it's metal but it's plastic and it's a soft plastic type i don't know if uh... i'm gonna have to charge these earphones before I can try them out but here they are here's the earbuds they're a pretty good size as far as earbuds go they're thicker and bigger than most of the earbuds that I've had before let me show you what I've been using before actually okay I wanted to show you guys my go-to or my normal earbuds earphones that I use and these are the Sony extra bass earbuds or earphones and um, these were really good actually they still are they pump a lot of volume and a lot of bass for working out but like I said these are wired and between this big phone right here because there aren't too many shorts or shorts pockets that'll fit this phone the only thing I used to wear to have this phone with the with these earphones are like either a case or I could put them in my hoodie jacket but because now it's hot and I wear shorts more often than not I don't have too many shorts that'll fit this uh, this big Note 8 and when I'm wearing something like these earbuds right here these Sony extra bass with the with the wire attached to my phone sometimes it'll it can get unhooked like if I'm doing the Olympic lifts like big complex multiple joint movements or working out back or deadlift movements these things the wires just get in the way and so that's why I finally decided to go wireless and get these earbuds right here these wireless earphones from Alta Glancing and like I said I was thinking about the Bose and the Sony extra bass wireless but in the end I ultimately decided to go with these Alta Glancing I still might get the Bose but I've, from what I've read this has very good sound very good, a lot of bass and better noise isolation than the other than the Bose the only one that better noise isolation was I think the Sony's but um, and actually the Sony's were on sale too but I decided because I'm a cheapskate to go with these because they were on sale like I said seventy nine ninety nine plus the two year warranty which bumped it up to the normal price they would have been without being on sale for ninety nine ninety nine or hundred and six dollars altogether with tax so this says uh, remove before use so we remove that and uh, are they charged is there any charge in them 
So here's the default tips. I'm going to try them on. Actually, God bless, I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, let's see what else we have in the box, right? So we already looked at the case and the earbuds. Put those over here. So inside this box is... Uh, So here we go, all together you get four smalls plus the wings, you get silicone and memory foam, you get four of the mediums, two silicone, two memory foam, you get four of the large plus the wing tips right there two memory foam, two silicone, and then you get two silicone extra large tips right there. So that is 14 ear tips altogether. That's quite a lot of ear tips for the money. So they want to make sure you get the perfect fit, the perfect seal, perfect noise isolation for your ears. And then right here is your care and maintenance instructions, your one year warranty card right there you get this nice little carrying case on top of the uh, so you can put the charging dock slash charging case with this carrying case right here with the nice Altec Lansing logo and branding and then you have your looks like micro USB charger sucks it's not USB-C come on Altec Lansing it's 2018 and then you get these Altec Lansing stickers right there so that's your contents your instruction your instruction manuals your warranty cards you get the Altec Lansing stickers you get 14 types of ear tips from extra large large medium and small you got your micro USB cable right here to plug it in and charge your carrying your charging dock slash carrying case and see right there where it says blue it should be it's probably good or is that charging no on the video it says that it'll turn bluish or lavender purple and then it'll turn off when it's fully charged so I don't think I don't know how much charges these have and um First let's go through a little walkthrough with this uh, earbuds. This is the left earbud and it's going to be identical with the right one also. So right here at the top corner you have your LED light. The middle right here is your Altec Lansing logo with the multifunction button. Now the multifunction buttons there's various ways to use them to like play pause your music, answer incoming phone calls or do not answer incoming phone calls and also um, there's nothing for volume and also for pairing and then uh, right here on the bottom corner on the in, near the inside is your microphone and that's going to be the same way as on a like I said on the right earbud so here is your ear tip of course in the earpiece and then you have right here on the wing it says left and then this is a medium and then right here is your contact points for charging so here is the case or charging case charging dock and um, like I said it's made out of soft touch plastic on the outside and then this part is like a faux metal with the Ant Altec Lansing uh, logo it has a button right here in the middle to open the latch it's pretty good and then uh, right here on the bottom you could also charge the carrying case and also your earbuds 
through Qi wireless charging. So if you have a Samsung wireless charger or any wireless charger, um, you can charge it the case and the earbuds that way instead of using right here the micro USB and also the LED light right here which tells you that um, your earbuds are charging right now so I think they need to get charged up once they charged up once they get charged up I'm gonna um, show you guys how the it fits in the ear with this with the default tips and I'm gonna pair them up and see how they sound and then that's it for the initial unboxing and initial review oh one more thing about this charging cradle or charging dock case slash case is that to uh, depending on which ear tips you get like they said if you have the memory foam ear tips they might not get fully in there all the way you got to play with it to, just to get them to charge that's number one and the other thing is it's not magnetic so unlike the bows that I wanted to get the sound freeze the bow sound freeze and some other ones I, I was thinking of I think it was the Jaybirds or something like that or J Labs it's not magnetic so these things will not <laughs> stay on but Actually, they kind of are right now. Look at that. I don't think it's magnetic, but because, you know, they fit. You have L right here for left, and then you have R right here for right. And when you put them in there like that, and you, you see the red LED right there, it means they're charging. And then, I you know, they kind of stay on. So that's pretty cool. But see, I think they were almost going to come off because as soon as I turned this over, I had to push these in more to get that um, charging LED right there. And uh, I believe once these turn blue, they're fully charged and then the LEDs will turn off. So right, right now they're still charging. So I'm going to let it charge and then we'll come back for the initial fit, how it looks and fits onto my ears and how it sounds and then that's it from there for this unboxing and initial review so far right now I can tell you they're pretty good quality they seem very lightweight and I did try one of them out on my ears and uh, it seemed pretty lightweight and pretty good quality and like I said these earphones are IPX6 I think uh, water proof not water resistant as it says here on the uh, specs yeah as you can see right there water proof so you could probably go swimming with these not that I would and I don't plan on getting them dunking them or getting them wet intentionally but it's good to know like if you accidentally drop them in the pool or in a puddle of water while you're running because they fall out of your ears hopefully they never do because you have a good fit that these will um, these are waterproof so I'm gonna let them charge like I said and um, I'll let you know how they sound and how easy they are to pair with your phone via Bluetooth okay we're gonna see how easy it is to pair these earbuds earphones so I have my Bluetooth settings right here on my Note 8 and uh, the instructions from the website said to press and hold these multi-function buttons here in the middle with the Altec Lansing logo for two to three seconds until they blink blue or something like that and then they'll pair up and then once they pair up to each other the other one, the right one, will blink like red and blue, or, or the left one will blink red and blue. <laughs> and then you should see the Altec Lansing or the True Evo name on there. There it is. 
I guess my phone was the one that no I had to scan with my phone let's see if they pair okay so now the true evil is connected so it was probably my phone that wasn't um that was the problem and not the earbuds themselves so right now I have the default um, ear tips so let's just check fit so here are the Altec Lansing with the default ear tips this is the one that just came out of the box and <laughs> the left one fell off so with the default it's a pretty good fit on the uh, right but not on the left but that's to be expected sometimes even with people in general you might have one ear ear hole that's larger than the other one but so that's how they look and uh, let's just let's just check sound Okay, so I got the headphones or earphones, earbuds on, on me. It, with, these are just the default. We already did a test fit. And as you guys know, the left one fell off while I was shaking my head, but the right one stayed in place. They say for the best fit to use the memory foam ones, though. That's probably what I'll do later on for the review. But the, for this initial one, let's just see how it sounds. So I got YouTube right here, and we're going to test for latency. Uh, I'm going to watch the new Iron Man trailer or Iron Man Aquaman trailer. So from about a few feet away from my phone I don't have any latency issues right now. So far the sound seems in sync with the video. So, so far, no latency that, like what they reported, no latency, at least on YouTube, not on my end, at least from this far away. And if you're going to be watching videos, that's pretty much how far away it's going to be anyways. So I'm going to play uh, music. Let's play some Migos. Now, from the reviews on these earphones, if the music is on your phone natively like this is I downloaded it natively onto my phone there should be no latency and man this the bass on here pumps and it gets pretty loud but you can still hear the the mids and some of the highs so so far I like the sound. No latency on these videos. There's, so there's no delay. The lips are in sync. The music is in sync with the video so far. And that's for both the native one here and also on YouTube. I don't know if you guys can hear that. It's still playing in the background. But anyway, so far so good. It they were easy enough to pair once I scanned on my Bluetooth devices on my phone and also the quality seems nice. These are nice and light and like it says they're waterproof. They're IPX6 certified for water resistant, waterproof whatever. 
So if you drop these accidentally like what I did, I didn't even do it accidentally, I did that on purpose. There should be no problems if one of the earbuds or both earbuds land in a puddle of water or whatever. They should be safe and good to go. And so yeah, they're nice and light and pretty comfortable and this is the default. I'm going to test these out with the memory foam, the ones that they recommend, the foam tips. So that is it for the uh, initial unboxing and initial review on these Altec Lansing True Evo wireless earbuds. Right now, they're for right now, just upon initial impressions, they're they're good to go. And like I said, you get a lot of you get the headphones or earphones you get the carrying case right carrying case slash charging case you get a carrying pouch with the Altec Lansing to put this in you get your micro USB cable you get extra large large medium and small ear tips and wings 14 of them all together all for $99.99 or if you go to Best Buy at this time I don't know how long the sale is it's $79.99 and uh, I got the two-year warranty like I said for $20 so it came out to as if I paid for them without the sale and right now it's a it's a go but we'll see after a week or so of using these if I still recommend them or not because we gotta still check for battery life and um, how well they hold their charge and everything like that and you know how well they are going to be when I'm sweating and working out in the gym and um, these are the ear, but ear tips I'm going to put right here these memory foam ones right there so that is it for the unboxing of an initial first impressions of the Altec Lansing True Evo True Wireless Earphones so that is it guys. Thank you guys all for watching and uh, we'll see you again for another video pretty soon. Take care and have a great day.